Hi, this is Becky Nunn with Nunn Design, guest designer for Beataholic. I'd like to show you how you can make fun pieces using imagery inside the various openings of findings from Nunn Design. What you'll need for this video is some Nunn Design glue, some two part resin. I've already pre mixed mine and it's ready to go. An undesigned collage sheet, this one so happens to be Bathing Beauties, some toothpicks or some stir sticks, some good heavy duty packing tape, scissors, and if you have it, a punch. The first step you want to do is punch out your image that you would like to use. So I think I would like to use these two sweet women right down here, these Bathing Beauties. And using my hole punch, I just insert my image and then punch it out. And now I have an image that will fit very nicely inside of that. If I didn't have a punch, I could have easily just cut it out. But on this particular one, I just had something that would work. Two-part resin will make a piece like this that's porous, translucent, if I don't first protect it. And so I'm going to use the Nun Design glue to go over the top of the image. And this will allow the image to stay nice and vibrant as we see it here. So with the paintbrush, I'll just apply a small amount of the Nun Design glue over the top. And it'll be milky white at first, but then it will dry translucent. Once I have my image with the glue on it, I'll just go ahead and apply it to the back surface area of where it will fit. Next I'm going to cut off a small piece of my very thick masking tape and I'm just going to apply it right over to the surface of my area and this will allow me to have a nice barrier so that the, nut, the resin won't seep out through my sides there. And now I have my piece ready for us to apply the resin on. I have a piece that I've already done and while this piece is drying I can show you what the next step is. I've already pre-mixed my two-part resin and we have some great videos here on Beauty Holly showing how to do that. I've put on my gloves and I'm just going to go ahead and get a small amount of the resin and just drizzle it onto the area that I want to have covered. You can use a stir stick or a toothpick, whatever you feel comfortable with. I think I'll pick it up, bring it closer so I can just drizzle it right onto the piece. This resin uh, has sat for a little while, so it's a lot thicker than um, typically I'd be working with, but it's still great to use for this purpose. Then you let that cure, and it won't take that long because this is such a small surface amount. You might, I might want to get my little toothpick and move that um, over to the sides a little farther. But once this is cured, you'll want to flip over the back, take off the tape, and then you might want to put another hit of the Nun Design glue on the back of that side once it's cured. This great piece was done by innovation team member Stephanie Guard bus, and you can see that the piece is translucent. That is a great look in itself, and you can create that by not putting the Nun Design glue over the image and keeping it nice and bright like that. But this is a whole look in itself that's great. This is Becky Nunn for Beataholic, and I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use open findings and apply resin.